No, they do not put you to sleep. <laughs> Why? Um, I like this idea, even though it's scary as hell, it's scary as hell to know that you're awake during this process. And I believe that's including with the Ab EX as well, where that is a form of skin removal. So, um, we'll talk about that on another one, but the liposuction, uh, they don't put you to sleep. The, they do give you uh, narcotics. They do give you something to help you to be able to um, be able to deal with whatever uncomfortableness that happens with this. Localized anesthetics, those type of things, they do provide that for you. You are awake in order to be able to feel, uh, see, and communicate. Uh, which is things you can't do with traditional liposuction. Not that that's bad, because some people need to go to sleep <laughs> if you're afraid of being awake and, and it's just like heart-richingly scary for you. Don't get this surgery. Like, it doesn't, no. But I did because <laughs> I wanted to be able to see. Even though it was scary, I was concerned about the pain just like anybody else is, but not overly concerned about it. Um, you don't really know until you experience it. And then when I came to experience it, it wasn't even as bad as sometimes we make ourselves think. So, yeah, um, they don't put you to sleep. Um, it's a simple, uh, minimally invasive. I don't know any other way to say that because people have tripped on me on saying it. But the reason why it's minimally invasive is because it's still typically surgery, but they are in your gut or wherever pulling out fat. It's invasive. It's trauma to the body, but it's all for a good purpose. So no, they don't. Um, if you are getting a lot of body work done, which is, this is not what Sonobello does. They're not, um, this, this overly like completely trying to transform your entire body. They're just trying to help you remove stubborn body fat. Like that's all you need and you should be doing the rest. But yeah, they don't put you to sleep. Yes, I was awake. Yes, I felt everything. Uh, yes, I was able to communicate. Uh, no, I wasn't able to see everything that they was doing, but the fact that I was awake, I could feel what was going on. That way my doctor was able to communicate with me. So you can communicate if something feels a little uncomfortable, like, hey, that's a little uncomfortable. You know, I mean, you can do that. So that's the benefits of not being asleep for such a procedure, especially the way that they've done it where it is minimally invasive. So it's it's not like traditional liposuction where they have to put you under anesthesia. You're not awake, so you're at the full mercy of your doctor. And that's not a bad thing either for those of you who are interested in going in that direction. But I'm just telling you about Sonobello because that's what I do. That's what I've had. That's what I've done. So check down below for links. Uh, got any questions or anything, please ask. I love you and I'll see you all in the next video.